If you're planning to take your family cruising, they say you should buy the biggest boat you can afford to allow for everybody's comfort. For us, that was a 1996 catamaran sailboat. We've named her Ohana. The problem with buying an old boat is there's a lot of old systems. And for us, the situation was no different. Today, we are working on refitting our galley. We've covered some of this in a previous video where we removed these obnoxious double sinks and the propane gimbaled stove. Once the sinks and stove were out, we removed all the other galley equipment and we glued down a plywood substrate for our new laminate countertop. At that point, we could fit our new sink and our new induction cooktop. And we were excited to find this microwave convection oven combination unit. As you can tell, our galley is going to be all electric and we're able to do this because of our DIY lithium iron phosphate battery bank. This was an easy DIY project that was about 25% the cost of the other commercially available batteries, but more about that later. Our galley is now fully functional, but that was the easy part. So a bit of a problem with the front here. I'm going to do a cherry trim all the way around to finish this off. This is just the raw edge, but this is half inch. We, we used half inch on purpose because I needed something stable enough to put the laminate on, but I didn't want um, a lot of weight. So quarter inch wasn't going to fit the bill and three quarter inch was a little bit too much. But now that leaves me with this problem of um, trimming this out. I've only got this teeny tiny little area. So this is my solution. We've cut these um, I'm calling them nuggets. We're gonna glue them in so that they fit like this. Building up the front edge of the wood gave me a nice surface area to apply the cherry trim. These strips are going to go on the front, but as you can see, there's a curve, nice gentle curve. So we need to get this up and on here like that. I want there to be about a quarter inch um, overhang here. Not all of the curves were gentle, and this one was very challenging. Something I've never done before, I decided to cut the wood into strips and boil it to help it soften up to be more pliable. Next, I need to build, redo all of this, frame this in, and build a custom very deep drawer down here. I'm going to cut straight down here. Okay, so we're at a weird point here. And if you're hearing that noise, that's the water pump. Um, I got this emptied out and we're excited because this is going to be a nice big drawer, but we're entertaining the idea of maybe two drawers and I've got a little bit of room here that I could bring the microwave convection oven up and still have the necessary vents here and then um, we were going to put some some like computer fans in here anyway to help circulate. So I'm going to pull this out and see how difficult because the previous previous owner installed this, uh, this board here. So I, I don't really know what I'm about to get into. May not be worth it. I can't hear anymore. Okay, so I went ahead and I made this frame and um, there's gonna be two drawers down here now. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I had to face screw into the existing fiberglass here, so we'll make some plugs to go in here. Um, this guy is pocket screwed in. Next up is this area here. I need to trim that off. So we're making little plugs for the screw holes. This is the plug cutter. Putting the finish on our new drawers. The 
got two new ones instead of the one old one that didn't work that well. This is my favorite part. I love seeing the stain bring out the colors of the wood. One of the features that have been really good for us are the addition of the drawers down below here. We think we're going to go ahead and add drawers to this space as well because as you can see it is not very organized and very difficult for us to keep on top of. If you're thinking about doing an electric upgrade to your boat, the first thing you're going to need is a good solid battery bank and unfortunately the lithium batteries are just cost prohibitive for most of us they were definitely cost prohibitive for us so we found a workaround and we actually built our own batteries it's not hard to do it's it's actually really easy to do and i made a whole video just about that so if you're thinking about upgrading your galley and you want to go electric you're gonna want to watch this video right here about the lithium upgrade